안녕하세요. <웃음> the fresh start. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Life with Andy, where we discuss life and the lessons learned along the way. And part of that journey is recording me learning to speak Korean. So it's been about four months. I missed the three month update after I got my tonsils removed. And when I eventually recorded it, uh, the video sucked. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to post that. But today I wanted to try do something I haven't done in a while in one of my recordings and uh, just practice and sharing some stories about my language learning process. So I have a, few, <laughs> I have a particularly good one. If you just want to skip straight to uh, me speaking Korean, I'll include a timestamp above. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you are going to love this. So in my language learning journey, I've found that <laughs> sometimes we can learn a word and get the meaning slightly wrong. And I have a particularly embarrassing one. So what I like to do in language learning, uh, which is a bit out of my character, is uh, when I learn something or do something well, I try to, I guess, hype myself up. <laughs> so, so, you know, try, you know, the equivalent is uh, in English is doing something well, but like, yeah, I'm the man, awesome, like nailed it, oh, so good. Like that, that type of hype. I try to hype myself up when I get a phrase right or a sentence right when I speak Korean. So there was this one phrase I learned that I thought I was saying, you know, ah, oh, I'm so cool, like, oh, that's so awesome, or I'm awesome, like that type of thing. But it turns out I got the meaning slightly wrong. So what I was saying, I was saying things like, ah, Jonun, chincha, moshisoyo, which, yeah, I thought I was saying, man, I'm really awesome. <laughs> Oh, this is so embarrassing though. But what I was saying to my language partners is uh, just out of nowhere, I'm just like, ah, like I am really handsome. <laughs> it's just, oh, I'm so embarrassed thinking about it because it was just so random. Uh, so out of the blue when I'd say this comment, you know, I, I would uh, maybe say something in the past tense. So for example, um, I'd change the, the verb uh, gongbu hada, uh, which means to study, uh, to gongbu hesoyo. So I'd say that in the past tense. Now, but like, yeah, jonun chincha chongmal nomu moshisoyo, which in that situation, I'm I using pretty much every every description I have for like really like a lot like I'm so awesome like th those types of words that's what I'm saying but I'm telling my language partner that I think I'm really handsome out of nowhere and they would always laugh and I like, <laughs> I'd find it funny too because it's like it's out of character but then one of them told me um, that hey I don't think you know but you're saying more that like, you think you're handsome, like, did you know that? And like, oh, <laughs> I had no idea. So that's a bit of fun. And I know as I learn Korean, this is going to be something I go back to over and over and I'll never be able to forget. But that's okay. That's all part, <laughs> that's all part uh, of the process. I, I guess a, a few updates as well about what I've been doing. I've been working through uh, the Talk To Me In Korean books. Uh, it's finishing, I've finished the level one book and I've been doing some revision to make sure I understand that content. And I've just started the first uh, three or four lessons of the Talk To Me In Korean level two book. But something i have realizing is that I need to make an effort outside of those books to start learning some vocabulary. Uh, the reason for that, I feel like I have a uh, reasonably okay understanding of some basic um, grammar structures, now not extensive in any way, uh, so I can say like, I'm studying, I was studying, I will study. That's the extent of, I guess, my grammar with tenses. I'm finding that having that understanding is really good, but to be able to understand songs I'm listening to or dramas I'm watching, 
I do need to start working on that vocabulary. And there was someone I learned about uh, in a university course actually, who learned uh, 30 languages in his lifetime. This is a couple of hundred of years ago. I can't remember his name. Uh, if I remember, I'll include in the description. How he learned uh, languages and vocabulary it wasn't about sitting down for hours at a time. He had a small notebook that he would refer to throughout the day when he was sailing or working or whatever it was. And that notebook uh, and that small incremental revision would help him remember new vocabulary and help him maintain the many languages he learnt along the way. So I've tried to do that um, heading to university. I'm not sure if you'll see, probably not. I've written a few, I guess, verbs that I've been wanting uh, to memorize, that I've been struggling to memorize. And on the way to university or on the way to work, I'll pull this out, even if it's even if I only had two minutes, to have a quick look. And I'm finding that's working really well to help me remember some of these words that I'm just really struggling to cement. Uh, so that's a good tip, recommend that if you get the chance. And sometimes that's all the study I can do in a day, but that's okay. It's, it's about trying to chip away at it a little bit at a time. And hopefully one day I'll be able to do this whole video in Korean, but we'll get there. All right, so in terms of practice, yeah, Talk To Me Korean book. i uh, also been talking with language partners. I try to do that uh, three times a week. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do italki lessons recently. Uh, I guess with COVID, it's made uh, finances a bit more uh, difficult, but I am hoping to do them again once I do a bit more self-study. And to be honest, I think that's where I'm at with my study as well. I'm glad I started off with those lessons to get the foundations right and improve my pronunciation a little bit, build some better habits there go off on my own to do some self-study, then I'll go back. Now there's some uh, pronunciation that I'm struggling with at the moment that I'm becoming more aware of as I'm learning. And uh, I may have said this in a previous video, but that's things like uh, the digud, tiud, sang digud, giok, kiok, sang giok, biup, piup, sam biup. Yeah, it's pretty difficult, but we'll get there. Let's do some Korean speaking. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 앤디입니다. 저는 학생이에요. 저는 뉴질랜드 사람이에요. 반갑습니다. 저는 26살이에요. Yeah. Pizza 좋아해요. 왜냐하면 피자는 yeah, pizza noon, pizza ga. A fresh start. <laughs> pizza joa heo. Uh, when ya hamion. Uh, pizza ga. Mashisoyo. Yori noon. Uh, joa heo. Uh, hajiman. Uh, Ajikchal moteo. Kureso. Uh, Yonsib headwe. <laughs> yes, I'm so pumped I got that. Hanguke, Hanguke, Gagosupoyo, when ya hamion, Hangu mal, Peosoyo. I'm not sure about that one, but that's okay. Jonun, Chogun, Tun Tun. Heo. When ya hamion, gogi, mani gogi, gogi, mo gosoyo. Onu, bada e gayo. Could he go? Chibeso, Gongu, Halkoeo. What else can I say? I've also been learning days of the week. Um, Woyoil, Huayoil, Suyoil, uh, Mokyoil, Gumyoil, Toyoil, Irioil, uh, Daunju, uh, Chingu, Hagogachi. Yonghua 
Halkoyo. I'm not sure about that one. I think that's similar. But that's, uh, I guess, a little bit of what I've been learning. Uh, I've been learning from, uh, well, yeah, so four months now. So I started near the end of April. So yeah, um, Sawol Buto. Uh, il e Samsa of your two pay. Yeah. Okay, so I've been learning from Sawol Buto, Palwol Kaji. Yes! Awesome! Um, oh, that's great. Another thing. Okay, yeah. Pija, um, Mashi Soyo, Dangun, Madop Soyo. Pija, Mogo Shupoyo, and Dangun, uh, Shiroyo. Dangun shiroyo. Daunju manayo. Annyeonghaseyo. Man, that was hard! <laughs> I forgot so much. But that is okay. We're stretching, we're growing, and we can do it. Yeah.